video we're sharing today, we'll be exploring the world of deepfakes. You've probably seen these amusing videos circulating online, where one person's face is magically replaced with another's. In this episode, we're focusing on the tools that make these deepfakes possible. We'll be putting two AI tools under the spotlight. Yes, you guessed it, this is another comparison video. Today, we'll be examining and comparing two popular face swapping deepfake tools. Swapface and Roop. Before we start, here are my bullet point notes based on Swapface and Roop. Take a look. Before we delve into comparing these two deepfake tools, we require both a source video and a face to superimpose onto the video in question. The source video refers to the footage we intend to alter by replacing the original face. To achieve this, I turned to Canva to source a stock video. I keyed in portrait in the search bar and looked for an appropriate video to utilize. I was aiming for something shorter than 10 seconds and featured a background, so I selected a suitable video. Here's what we will use. Having obtained the source video, we need a face to use next. A simple Google search led me to Arnold Schwarzenegger's photo. I decided to pick this Wikipedia image of Arnold because, well, he's the legendary Terminator. I'll be back. Great. We've now acquired our source video and the face to be used. Let's kick off the process with Swapface. Swapface proved to be extremely straightforward to install, boasting a contemporary GUI interface and a wealth of features, including streaming capabilities. However, it does necessitate user registration and account creation, which, on the bright side, is free of charge. Swapface offers preset faces and source videos to select from. However, for this demonstration, we will be using the stock footage I've procured and Arnold Schwarzenegger's face. The platform presents an array of features to choose from, including fast mode, pro mode, expert mode, and hybrid mode. We'll be employing the fast mode in this showcase as it is the default selection. I've already uploaded Arnold's face, although it did cost a credit to do so. Having chosen the source video and Arnold's face, it's time to hit the start button. It took 23 seconds to create the deepfake video using Swapface. Unfortunately, it is watermarked. However, here are the results for Swapface. Ha! Huh. Interesting. Not bad. However, we got one more tool to cover. Now, let's shift our focus to Roop. This tool, developed by S0MD3V, is completely free to use. Installation isn't as straightforward as Swapface. However, the winning point is that it's entirely free, and it doesn't watermark the output videos. Yeah, boy. The interface of Roop is quite basic, but it's simple to use. My initial test took 2 minutes and 49 seconds to generate a video. Intrigued to see if the longer duration was due to a fresh installation, I attempted the same video output again. Sure enough, the second time around, it only took 1 minute and 46 seconds to produce the output video. It's worth noting that the results and processing times will fluctuate depending on your graphics card. In my case, I'm using an RTX 3060 with 12 gigabytes of VRAM. The link is provided in the description below. Consequently, if you have a more powerful graphics card, your output will be generated more quickly. With all that said, let's examine the root results. Incredible. I must admit, in my view, Roop takes the trophy in this comparison. But, it wouldn't be fair not to acknowledge Swapface merits such as its user-friendly installation process, refined interface, and streaming features. There's a catch, though. To remove the watermark from your videos, Swapface necessitates a payment. So, that's something to keep in mind. However, the optimal choice really hinges on your specific needs, objectives, and of course, the budget you're working with. Anyways, we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Who do you think won and why? Don't go just yet. Let's take a look at both Swapface and Group's output side by side. That brings us to the end of today's insightful journey into the world of AI. If you found this video valuable and want to stay up to date with the latest trends and breakthroughs in artificial intelligence, please hit that like button. It lets us know that you appreciate the content. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll become part of a community that's at the forefront of AI discussions. And remember, by clicking the bell icon, you'll get notified whenever we upload new content, ensuring you never miss a beat in this fast-paced field. Finally, we encourage you to share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. We love hearing from you and your insights could spark fascinating discussions among the AI controversy community. Thank you so much for your time and attention. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible.